Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to create a form and how to take the different input values from the form and now let's check it. Here I am going to show you a form. Here is a Facebook page and now you are going to see the form and here you see that this is a form. This is a text field where we can input our name and here is the email text field and here is the email field and here we can input the password and we can select the gender so now I'm gonna teach you each and everything how to create this form or any form so first of all to create a form we need to place the form tag here is the starting tag and here is the closing tag so in between these tags we need to write all the form code so first of all to create an input field like this to create an input field like this we need to write a tag whose name is input tag the input tag have not any closing tag so now we need to write the type of this input field so I'm gonna write the type of the input field is text this is just a text field like this this is a text field and now let's check it here you see that a text field is created so this is a way to create a text field but now here I'm gonna place a text to navigate this text field here I'm gonna place label uh, is the label and it's closing tag and here I'm gonna write the first name and now let's check it and here is the first name and we are now we are able to create the second field and third field and now here I'm gonna copy this uh, so now here I'm gonna write the last name and it is also the type of text and here it is created last name and here you see that a new line is not added so here I'm gonna add a new line by the line break and you and here I have not write the forward slash it depends upon you it is not necessary if you write the forward slash then it is good so now this is the way of creating a text field a simple text field but now I am gonna teach you how to create the radio buttons like this here these are the radio buttons to select the gender and now I'm gonna create the radio buttons like this uh, so now I'm gonna copy this and here I'm gonna edit this gender and now we have to change its type to radio here is the radio and now here I'm gonna write the mail mail and now copy this and here is the female and now let's execute it here you see that these radio buttons are created but here you see that when we select uh, in this form we are able to select only one radio button but here you are able to select both of these because we have not give it the name and the value so now what is the name and the value name is just an attribute and we are able to assign the name to all the input fields and then we have the value of all the input fields so now I'm gonna give it a name here I'm gonna write the gender this field have the name gender and this field also have the name gender so now this field have the value male when we select this field this field then gender have the value male 
and when we select this field then the gender have the value female here is the female so now at a time we can select only one value here you see that both values are not selected so this is the way of creating the radio buttons and later I will teach you how to create the other things and now I want to tell you about the submit button here you see that this is a submit button when we click on it uh, then you will go to another destination and the form is submitted so how to create it here what we need to do we need to create an input field of type submit here is the submit submit so now it is created here you can see it, this button is created but you can also uh, edit this text here I'm gonna edit this text how to do it give it a value value equal and I'm gonna write sign up and here I'm gonna add the br so now here you see that this sign up button is created uh, and now I want to tell you some other thing that is related to the form when we click on the submit button here when we click on this submit button uh, then the form is submitted uh, to a special page the all the values in the form or go to another page and that page will save the values uh, to the database when you click on the submit button then the values are submitted into the databases values are stored into the databases then <coughs> how to write the address of the page here uh, we need to write the action when we click on the submit button then this action contain the destination of the form values here I'm gonna write uh, a dot HTML or PHP you can write any destination so this is the destination I have just write an example and another thing is the method how the values travel to the destination page so here write the method attribute and then we have to write the method here we are able to write two methods first is get the get value is used when we want to send the common information common information like search engine queries and the such ordinary information is travel using the get method but if we want to send the secret information or the passwords then we need to use the post because all the values when we use the get method then all the values form values are accessible through the page address and in the post method these values are not accessible through the page address so now I am gonna tell you about another thing that is how to create uh, these select options how to create these select options and all these things I will teach you these things input type things these three fields in my next lecture so now let's create the select options like this so first of all to create the options we need to write the select tag here is the select and then it's closing tag <coughs> and here is we I'm gonna give it a name <coughs> country <coughs> I am gonna create the options of the countries list of the countries so now here we need to write the option tag option and here is its closing tag and then in between this we are able to write any option here I'm gonna write China and then here I'm gonna write US and then Europe so now these options are created and now let's 
look at it and here is the selective option and now here I'm gonna add the beer then you can watch it clearly here you can see that this option is created this is the option China US Europe like this here are the months so using this method you can create the dates and the month and anything you want and then what you need to do you need to give it the values here I'm gonna give the value China and here is the value US when we click on the China option then then this country have the value China if we click on the US then this US have the value US and here I want to tell you about another thing here you see that uh, there is a month and the day and the year it have not any value at the start but here you see that there is a first value at the start and you can create a dummy value here I'm gonna create a value which have the option country it shows the country it have not any value when we select it it have not any value so now when we uh, load the page so it have the first value that shows that what this option representing so now we can understand this option uh, representing the countries and like this you can create anything here I'm gonna create the month and here is the option and now here I'm gonna create I'm gonna close it and create another select so I hope you understand this is a separate select option and now I'm gonna create a separate separate select option so this, uh, you can create the options as many as you want you can create the select options as many as you want and here I'm gonna write the month and here is the March and here is the April you can write as many as values you want and you also need to edit these values here you need to write March and here is the February and here you also you can also edit this and now let's check it so here are the months are created I'm just showing you an example and another thing that is the selected attribute when you load the page uh, then a specific value is selected here uh, I'm gonna write it select it so when we load the page so the Europe is already selected so here you see that the Europe is selected on the screen and another thing that is in the form is the text area the text area is present in many websites that is used to get the comments of the people's comments of the users here is the text area and here is its closing tag so now here the text area is created and when we load it so here you can see that this is a text area this box is a text area where you can write any text and you can also give it a rows and the columns here I'm gonna give it the rows rows are 10 and the columns are 100 so now its width and height is increased and you can also adjust it and the next thing is the button you can create any type of the button using the button tag here is the button and and here I'm gonna give it the value click and it is the type of uh, 
email or you can write the submit or you can write the text so now here the button is created so it have you can create any type of the button and then like submit so now a submit type of button is created here you see that I'm gonna load the page and here is the click button but it have not the specific address so this is a way of creating any type of a button and another thing is the border around the form here here I'm gonna create a border around the form and the heading of the form here what we need to do we need to write the field set here is the field set you have to write the field set after the uh, starting tag of the form after the opening tag of the form and close the field set tag at the closing tag of the form so now load it so here you can see that a border is created and here you can create a heading of the form how to create it after the field set you need to write legend or legend and here is the legend and here in between this legend tag you can write anything here I'm gonna write user information and let's check it here this heading is created so this is the way of how we we can create the forms in the next lecture I'm going to discuss the different input type how to create an input field which takes the password and the emails and all other things numbers and the month and dates so let's check it in the next lecture